Attaining higher learning is probably one of the most expensive ventures any young person can go through as they prepare for a future they desire. This is why the Grenada government has formed alliances with many friendly governments and organizations to provide scholarships for locals, whether partial or fully funded. One institution in particular is the St. George's University, who contributes more than just a high percentage of GDP, but an opportunity to hundreds of Grenadians to get the education they desire. Annette Moore explores this budding relationship between St. George's University and the government of Grenada and tells us how many young persons are continuing to benefit from this bond. We know that the future of Grenada depends upon the number of people who prepare themselves for a future that works. And you can't do that without properly educating yourself. This is why the St. George's University, in collaboration with the government of Grenada, has bravely assumed the role as one of the main providers of scholarships for Grenadian students. SGU's contribution to tertiary education in Grenada has grown exponentially over the years. It has been a very rewarding partnership and we are as a country benefiting from that partnership in a tangible way in many sectors of our country. On Friday, September 30th, 41 more scholarships, 28 undergraduate and 13 masters were awarded to Grenadian students during a ceremony at the Public Workers Union building. As a parent of two beautiful children, it is a well-needed opportunity for me to have this kind of assistance. Um, so I do thank the government of Grenada and the scholarship that they have given today. Scholarships were awarded in the areas of accounting, accounting and finance, biology, computer technology, information technology, international business and international business and finance, management, tourism, tourism and hospitality management, and psychology. These are the areas that we are encouraging. These are the areas that we're going out we're speaking to St. George's University, we're speaking to other educational institutions about opportunities in those areas which directly benefit our national development. Yeah, it feels really good to get the scholarship, actually. Um, less stress, so I could focus more on my studies than having to focus on actually coming up with funds to uh, pay for my my studies. At when you think about the development of Grenada, where we want to see our young minds go, where we want to see ourselves personally develop and bring back to the table much more than we would have received when we started, then it augurs well for the development of the country. The scholarship will help me to achieve my future goals as an accountant, future qualified accountant. The scholarship desk, located at the Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development and the Environment in Tantine St. George, works tirelessly to ensure that scholarship seekers get the best information in a timely manner and are guided appropriately through the scholarship application process. When I apply, I was successful in scholarship and it was a major um, springboard to um, financial support. Yeah. So uh, last year, the Governor Pereira started offering scholarships in, in nursing at the St. George's University and um, this is now still a part of our scholarship offer. Within the last three and a half years, Senator Steele says the government has provided, along with other key partners, a record number of scholarships. We have more Grenadians attending university today than at any time in our, his, uh, in our history. More than 600 scholarships have been provided, totaling approximately $120 million. In 2016, 194 scholarships were awarded at an estimated value of $42.5 million. And this is something that the Ministry of Education working very closely with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is committing to continuing to increase. Best investment. Any country, any government can make. Working in collaboration with the private sector. But it's a reflection of our commitment as a government to the development of our human resources. 
a critical component that drives our nation forward. SGU is pivotal to that purpose. Looking at the success rate at the um, university, it's just amazing. Yeah, and I just encourage them to keep up the good work. Yeah. I want to also pay homage to the first Prime Minister of Grenada who had the foresight and insight to see the possibilities of establishing a world-renowned institution right here in Grenada. In terms of St. George's University's contribution as a world-class medical school, in terms of its contribution to our healthcare system. And these are all areas of discussion that are ongoing between the government of Grenada and St. George's University as to how we can strengthen these bonds, how we can enable St. George's University to be even more successful. Today, we can boast of having over 13,000 practicing doctors all over the world in distinguished positions, heads of various clinical agencies, at universities, even at Harvard University, we have heads of the people who have reached the position of heads of departments. So we're proud of the achievement of all of our graduates. SGU is also making a significant economic impact with regards to stemming the unemployment issues in Grenada. St. George's University is a major employer in the state of Grenada. It is a major contributor to our gross domestic product. It contributes, and George's University as a business, contributes somewhere in the region of 20% of our economy. But over 600 Grenadians make their living at St. George's University. At all phases of administration, and teaching, and scholarship, and service. Maguire gave substantial words of advice to the recipients. When you come to St. George's University, you have to develop yourself so that you'd serve. This is a materialistic world, but you get, get the most benefit from service. Yes, I would like to say thank you for to the university, of course, at first and foremost, and the government for facilitating such a wonderful opportunities for young Grenadians to pursue their education and continue to do good in life and for the country as a whole and the world even at large. Continuing to strengthen tertiary education, Senator Steele says emphasis will be placed on the T.A. Marischal Community College with the aim of developing the college into the premier tertiary education institution within the region. We're about to sign a five-year agreement with McMaster University and Ivy League University out of Canada, a five-year partnership that is looking at the development of our tertiary level curriculum. Investment in education is the only investment that can guarantee positive returns. Information can also be obtained from the Scholarship Desk Facebook page, which is Human Resource Development Division slash Scholarship Desk. For State of Affairs, I'm Annette Moore.